at long last, guys. It is finally here. Capro Sucus. But first, let's take a look at it as a baby. Oh my god, look how tiny it is! Ah! <laughs> Sorry. So, now let's look at the calls of the baby. So first up, the broadcast. Oh my god. God. Oh my god, those teeth. Those could easily tear off your arm. God. God, those teeth. Okay, friendly. Oh, my heart. Oh, okay, threat. Wait, was that the threat? Okay, distress. Okay, short call. Oh. Shake. Oh my god, that is so cute! Oh my god. And the question mark. Oh my god, did you hear that? Oh my god, the snapping jaws. And the friend call. Now to the adult. Okay. Oh my no, by the way guys, this guy was not that big. So here's a picture on screen of just how big this guy was. Cause this guy was actually not that big compared to most other crocodiles. But yeah, and I don't think this thing is Built for the water, because this thing was more like a land crocodile. And from what I've been seeing, well, on the Path of Titans, well, community, well, servers, Discord servers, they call this thing a little hellhound, of which I don't think this thing would be too happy to, to have been called that. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, let's take a look at the calls of the adults. So first up, the broadcast. That kind of sounds like uh, an alligator, doesn't it? Okay, friendly. Kind of cute, actually. Threat. Okay, and guys, look at those teeth. Although, hang on guys, let me uh, do this. So, I have actually uh, finally discovered how to actually, uh, well, change the uh, key bindings. Okay, so, look at those teeth. So those teeth could easily uh, easily take off your arm, leg, or, well, pretty much even your head. So thank God that this guy's not around anymore. And guys, this is what I'll be doing from now on. Whenever uh, I do these videos. So, distress. And let me uh, change the weather. Clear skies, and freeze time, and freeze the weather. There we go. So that I didn't cut out, because that now shows y'all that I'm pretty much now professional with this. Okay, so yeah. So, okay, so, 
sort of call. Okay, it's just like a little hiss. Shake. Oh, it's like it's dancing. I mean, just look. That I will try to, well, edit with some like, well, sick disco music or whatever. And the question mark. Oh my God! Didn't did you hear those jaws snap? I was like. Here, I'll do it again, and I'll boost the audio. Yeah. Okay, so let's check out well, the animations before we uh, check out well, the skins and the abilities. So... So this is a little... a Galibur Landcroc. Do you jump? Oh, you do! Okay, he doesn't sneak, but how do you swim? Oh, you do swim! Can you dive? <gasps> you can! Holy shit! It seems like I may have found myself, well, a new favorite mod to uh, play as. Okay, so how do you sit idle? Oh my god, you're actually kind kind of like a caiman. Which, by the way, to those who have no idea what a caiman is, here's a picture of a black caiman here on the screen. This thing is actually more like... Uh... Actually, let me take a look at the snout. Yep, it's a crocodile. Okay. This is probably something that y'all have been confused with for the longest time. The difference between a crocodile and an alligator. This guy being a crocodile has a pointed snout. Whilst alligators have a round snout. So, if that clears things up for you guys, that's how you can tell the difference between the two. Okay, so anyway. Okay, so let's get to some uh, flat ground. Okay, how do you sit? Okay, kind of similar to the uh, Sargasugas. Uh, that is ex that is exactly similar to Sargasugas. Okay, so let's look at the skins. So we've actually got quite a lot. So that's the default. Okay, we got Cell. Ooh, this one's actually gonna be good for blending in with greenery. Cuvier, Suvier. I don't actually know how to say that. Cuban. <gasps> so that's just like the Cuban crocodile, which by the way, here's a picture of one on the screen right now. Primal. Coarse hide. Dwarf. Oh, which by the way, which by the way, there is such thing as a dwarf came in. And, which by the way, well, once again, here's a picture of one on the screen right now. That's a dwarf came in. So this game kind of looks similar to that. Here's albino, which actually looks cute and melanistic. Oh, which at night. Which, when people are playing as this guy at night, it's gonna be quite scary. It's gonna be quite scary. Okay, next up, we have Western. Which, I don't know, this is supposed to be, like, a different crocodile skin. Okay, Tegu. Which does really seem much like a Tegu. Naturary? Naturary? I don't actually know if I said that right. Pariah. 
Oh, which not to be confused with the Asala Pariah from GTA 5. Hog Rider. Okay. Snokia. I don't think I said that right. Monitor. Oh, kind of like Megalania's. A monitor skin. And... Gator. <gasps> okay, I am definitely going to be playing as this guy a lot. Okay, so the abilities. Geologist. Which increases jump height by 25%, trot speed by 50%, and, re and reduces thirst depletion by 40%, and biologist. Which increases acceleration when swimming by 50%. Uh, increases visibility when underwater. Uh, increases max oxygen by 25%, and grants the ability to feed on mushrooms. It, whoa, okay, this guy has a lot of abilities. So here's the bite, which is which caused medium bleed, tearing force. Attack that causes moderate damage and reduces enemy armor by 5% for 7 seconds. Can stack up to 5 times, can be used while grappling a prey. Also, this thing's gonna be able to like grab things. Ooh, armor crusher. Charge up the attack and inflict armor piercing damage based on how long it's held. Dual chomp. A double attack that increases in power with each hit. Oh, so this is like all those other ones. And sharp tusks. Take 20% reduced damage from hits to your head. And increases your damage by 5%. Okay, so we'll do tearing... Nope. Okay, we'll do tearing force. Which will put that down there. Okay, senses. Gains plank. Uh, when decreases self and team's damage by 1% for 20 seconds every time you are hit by an attack, stacks up to 10 times and crocodilian cacophony, which increases self and team's armor by 1.5% for 25 seconds every time you are hit by an attack, stacks up to 10 times also. Okay, front limb, firm grip. Which increases turning radius by 5% and webbed feet. Uh, which increases swim speed and turning or a <laughs> swim turning radius by 15%. Okay, so we have bottom feeder, hyper carnivore, and generalist. So generalist turns this thing uh, into uh, uh, an omnivore. Okay, hi. Sun drawed scales. Which increases armor by 10% and stamina recovery by 50% during the day. Midnight Creeper. Which increases speed by 10% and health recovery by 15% during night. And Streamline. Which increases swimming speed by 15%. Okay, so the back legs. Oh, we got Leap and Webbed Boost. Uh, which increases mobility and maneuverability by 50% when you're wet. How did you know that I was wet? What? Disappointed! <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, Croc Rush, charge forward in a line, causing damage to anything you hit. But which restores stamina on hit can only be used on land. Okay, well that's a first. And Leaping Bite. A leaps forward, dealing minor armor-piercing damage. Which, upon successful activation, uh, you grab an opponent, can only be used in land while in movement. I think it meant used on land and not in land. Okay, which we'll take a look at that next. We'll put that in there next. Okay, we got, ooh, Breach. Uh, which dashes forward, uh, dashes forward in order to escape or ambush Deals impact damage and moderate knockback, but but can't be used with other attacks. Can only be used while diving and lunge. Which activate for a quick forward boost of speed. Can only be used while swimming. Uh, upon activation, grants 15% damage buff for 4 seconds. Can be chained with attacks. Okay, so I'll be doing breach first in that case. Be doing that. And the voice. Finest hour. Oh. Which increases your speed by 2% per use. Able to stack up to 5 times. And coming up. 
and coming aboard. A witness a call that during the day uh, increases all party members' armor by 10% within 30 meters for one minute. During the night, uh, it increases all party members' damage by 10% within 30 meters for one, min for one minute. You must be on land to perform it. Okay, damn, so this guy has a lot of abilities. Damn, so this guy's gonna be stacked when y'all are using him. Okay, so let's check out, well, <laughs> the head attack. So here's the uh, regular bite. Oh wait, that's just like Sarkozukas. Yep, that is just like Sarkozukas. Okay, I feel like they took a Sargasugas' attack. Well, most, well, most of Sargasugas' abilities and animations and all that for this guy. Okay, so here's the uh, Trunging Bite. Oh! Wow, did you hear that? So once again, I'll boost it. Okay, that this thing's gonna be a nightmare for people who are trying to all just uh, do their own thing. And last but not least, sharp toss. Oh, it's just it's just a, a boost. Okay, so let's check out this. Okay, I can kind of see that it's sort of like Sarkasukas. Okay, so finest hour. Oh, so that's what it does. And now let's check out oh, the other one, which is called Coming Aboard. Oh my god, that, that dance is so cute. So, is that what that turtle thing does? Well, that turtle icon there? Is that what that actually does? Okay, so let's check out the, uh, lunge in the water. Okay, so how's this look in the water? Oh my god, uh, that's actually... That is literally uh, exactly like Sarkasukas. Okay, and now for the uh, other one, uh, which is the uh, lunge. Okay, well, this little guy has been interesting. <laughs> Okay, this is gonna be now. Okay, this little guy has to now be one of my new favorite mods. So this guy's is going to wrap it up for the review of Caprasukas. I know that y'all have been waiting a very, very long time for this mod to come out, but now it's here. And the last mod, of which I will be doing a video on later today. It's gonna be a long one, because it is a mod that we have all waited for like an entire fucking year to come out. So, I won't be playing this game as much today, because, well, I do need to get myself ready for that video. But uh, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, I really, really do hope y'all have... <laughs> so, I really do hope y'all have enjoyed this video of this little guy. And I will see y'all next time. Bye-bye.